Hey there, welcome to Yoga Physio Zone. I'm Sinead and today we are doing a morning routine for your lymphatics. And this isn't just for people who have lymphatic problems, this is for all of us. Our lymphatics clear our body waste and excess fluid and everything. So they're a really important system and they get ignored. So anyway, here we go. We're not ignoring them because we're going to do a little morning session for them. Word of warning, if you have active cancer, just get some advice before doing this because there may be some areas that you have to avoid. And if you've had a stroke or you know you have carotid artery disease, which are these big arteries kind of in underneath your um, sternomastoid muscles here, um, you don't want to be adding vibrations to the area and, you know, setting a clot off. So basically, um, start from the collarbone down and you should be good to go. And of course, be sensible if you have areas of active infection. Um, it's probably best not to do it at a time of actual infection. Um, or any open wounds but otherwise we are good to go so let's start with our we're going to start around the head area and just over our eyebrows so tapping a tapping maneuver with our finger but using our wrist to do the tapping makes it much easier so on both sides just tapping the above the eyebrows stimulating the lymphatic vessels around this area there. Your lymphatics love, they just love vibrations actually, which is why trampolining is really good for your lymphatic system as is exercise, but anyway, here we go. And then we're gonna move down to your mouth, actually spend a little bit of time in between the eyebrows. Um, just some of the vessels there clear some of the waste from your eyes. So you just want to give that a little bit of time and then move down. Move down to your maxillary area, which is underneath, underneath your eyes. Come a little bit closer to you, just like this part here. Underneath your eyes like that. That's better, you can see me. And then down to over your lip, okay? Hopefully you don't hear too much banging in my microphone. But you'll forgive me if you do. Okay, and then coming down to the chin area, lots of nodes around there. Your teeth um, need a drainage system and your lymphatics are that. Um, and then working all along the line of the jaw. Now do this on both sides, but I'm just going to stick away from my microphone, so I'm going to show you on the other side. And then you want to come over to your parotid gland, which is at the, the kind of the angle of the jaw. Quite a few nodes around there. So give that a bit of a, a going over on both sides. And if you're like me, you will have some sensitivity around there. It's a very node rich area. Okay. So go easy, but it does get more resilient towards it. That word resilience has been overused nowadays, but anyway, um, and then kind of just under your ear, just under the ear area there. And working on that as well. Lots of nodes around there. That's the part that's very near your carotid artery. So, you know, if you've got known disease, you don't want to be doing this. And you're doing this on both sides, okay? I'm just showing you on one side to avoid my microphone um, getting a lot of interference. And then you're gonna come down the side of the neck. Now at this stage, I find it easier to switch with my, to use my other hand. And we're coming down the side of the neck. Loads of nodes. You've got a third of your body nodes are in the head and the neck. And you've probably anywhere between three and 500 um, lymph nodes in your body. So um, a lot of nodes, you know, a lot of clearance. So coming down to that notch that's above. So you don't, I don't have a dippy one, but some people have a very obvious dip in there. Um, which is probably a sign I need to work on my lymphatics because I don't have a dip there. But anyway, here we go. I'm working along there. Now, I don't want to get to forget two areas. One is the area kind of in under my jaw there. So I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to stick my head up like that and work on that area there. Not coming too far into towards my carotid arteries, but just coming along the line of the line, the jaw. And then kind of underneath the floor of my mouth, kind of this underneath the chin, because lots of nodes there that drain your, your teeth. And um, this would be a good one if you're about to get a tooth out. Um, I'm 
gentle stuff done you can do a bit of pre-clearance and then I always give a little go to my thy thyroid but there's no evidence for this but it's not doing you any harm is it um but anyway I'm doing that and then don't forget the back of the head so the line between your ears and your kind of center of your head and working along that area maybe flipping your head down while you're doing that and then you can get a chance to do some of your scalp as well and if you're doing this in the morning at this stage you should be starting to feel feel a little bit alive <laughs> it feels really nice to do that so spend a bit of time on that okay um good and coming back down so we've done the notches on both sides but now we're going to spend a bit of time along the collarbone so going over there's my collarbone i'm going to spend some time over the collarbone and under the collarbone on both sides okay you can really feel the vibrations when you do it here now your subclavian vein is the main vein that accepts the waste um from your um, lymphatic system and that is just under your collarbone so this area is really important to have clearance and we do this on both sides doing this on both sides okay so head and neck area is done I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see me all right and then we're going to go to the armpits get one hand above the head and the other hand you're going to just try not to cross my legs there you go in there getting that armpit area there spending as much time as you want your armpits should be hollow and not pudgy i'm not saying mine are perfect but you get the idea we should have hollow armpits we shouldn't have ones that are very squishy uh, and it is a sign that you you know your lymphatic system could do with a bit of um um a bit of clearance so here we go i'm gonna change our lives this morning okay and then we're going to move down to the the breastbone the sternum okay and that's this breastbone here in the front and we're just going to tap the whole way along down there lots of nodes in there uh, <laughs> there we go clearing that out and then we come to our abdomen. Now the best way of clearing our abdomen is by taking deep breaths. So as we're doing this, taking deep breaths in and out. Taking deep breaths in and out. And you'll notice when I'm taking the deep breaths in, my shoulders aren't moving up, but that my belly sticking out, okay? So getting those deep breaths in, very nice. And we are ready to move down to our lower abdomen okay that's great and so i'm gonna move back a little bit so you can see <clears throat> find the two bones kind of below your waist two bones kind of on either side and then you're just going to work kind of inside of those and again what i do for this area here is i kind of cup my hand a little bit like that my hand cupped and it's doing that kind of motion so my fingers are taut but my wrists are relaxed um so that i don't i'm not kind of jamming off my, my my structures so just reaching along in there external iliac nodes and then coming down to the groin line there so the knicker line the bikini line or the y front line if you're a gentleman so working along that groin area there okay up and down along dipping your groin there okay and then you can spend lots of time there particularly if this is an area of blockage for you and then if you were to join a line kind of between the two so just above that bikini line there <clears throat> or the underwear line if it's low underwear your suprapubic bone um, suprapubic nodes sorry there you go Get a good old a good old belt in there now okay unless you have reason not to. So any medical conditions, you may need to adjust and to get advice on this from a lymphatic therapist, or you can get your doctor's opinion on that. Okay, so he said, not meant to be sore, maybe some areas that are tender, um, but certainly you shouldn't be sore after you stop 
might be tender to the touch, but not giving you pain. Otherwise, there's a problem and you shouldn't continue. There we go. Okay. And then we don't want to forget the nodes that are in kind of under here and the underneath part of that bikini line or knicker line or whatever. So you want to do a little bit of work on those. So it might be easier to get those from behind. So if you imagine you have kind of slender enough um, swimming togs or underwear on, it's along the line of that behind, okay? And so I usually find if I put my arm behind and go underneath that I have a better go there. So again, deep breathing as you do this. And out. And then don't forget the other one. And of course, if there's any particular area you need to spend more time on, um, you can prioritize that. And there you go, my friends. You have just given your lymphatics the best start of their day. Again, it shouldn't be sore afterwards. Maybe it's more of a tender, but that should be about the size. So um, I'm going to go. Just gone over the 10 minutes. So um, thanks for joining me and um, have a good day. Bye.